So the Jackery uh, Explorer 1000 has been out on the market for a little over a year now. It comes with a 1002 watt hour power station. It carries a uh, 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter in it um, with a surge capacity of 2000 watts. In another video we did, uh, we used it to power our uh, curd coffee maker and also a uh, hot water kettle. And uh, it comes with uh, three 120 outlets, uh, USB C's. There's two of them. Uh, five watt, uh, five volt uh, um, USB uh, quick charge, and a uh, cigarette lighter. Input side, you've got uh, from. Uh, you can put one solar panel in here, or the double solar panel comes in here with an Anderson connector. Um, the plug adapter into the, your wall socket will go in here as well as the cigarette lighter adapter in your car. So uh, again, this is a Jackery Explorer 1000. All right, for the next test of our uh, Jackery 1000 portable power station, um, we are going to test our new portable fridge and what we've done here is we've got 14 waters in here at room temperature and starting this off from scratch 64 degrees right now i've got it set to maximum and i'm trying to get down to 34 degrees and i've got uh, our two 100 watt solar panels hooked up to the uh, explorer 1000 and just kind of want to see what uh, this thing does. We started out at 100%, and right now the ice chest is taking 52 watts on max, and uh, we're putting in 67. Um, it's capable of doing more than that with the solar panels, but uh, it only needs uh, the 67 just to keep it at 100%. So uh, I'll let you know how long it takes. All right, we're about an hour into this test. Uh, ambient temperatures about 75 degrees out. Um, so far, solar panels are keeping up. We're at 99% full. The uh, temperature on the fridge is now at 52. So it's gone down 12 degrees in an hour. Um, so that's uh, it's making progress and uh, the solar is totally keeping up with it. I'm right. gonna two hours in and we are down to 46 degrees 97 percent full on the jackery uh, so basically full 47 watt output from the uh, powered ice chest all right just under four hours on this test and uh, we are at 39 degrees in the uh, uh, fridge. Um, Jackery is at 98%, still getting uh, 60 watts in, 44 out. Um, so now that the uh, fridge has gotten uh, cool, we're gonna use a lot less power. And uh, I want to see how this does overnight, uh, just holding the temp of the uh, fridge and what percentage we'll be at in the morning. Uh, just as an FYI, the uh, temperature today topped out at about 76, and right now it's 74 degrees, and we started at 75. So the um, it was it was pretty warm, and then the cooler was in the sun, so it wasn't helping. And again, we started uh, with uh, room temperature on the drinks that went inside and everything. So this is a pretty uh, pretty tough test for it. All right, so sun has set. Uh, cooler is at 37 degrees, and the Explorer 1000s at 100%. No input from the sun, and it's using 43 watts because it's still trying to cool. So we'll see what it looks like in the morning after uh, maintaining a temperature. I think I've got it set to 36 um, overnight. All right, it's about 6.15 in the morning. No sunlight uh, yet on the panels. Um, just wanted to give you a quick update here. Uh, we are at 37 degrees on the cooler. 
Uh, again, we just got the 14 water bottles in there. Um, and the uh, Jackery is at 90%. I went ahead and uh, it's, well, it's still in uh, max mode. I could switch that over to uh, eco if I wanted, but uh, let's see, 16 hours later, no power input at all other than solar. And uh, we're at 90% on the uh, Explorer 1000. Pretty impressive. All right, so the refrigerator test from uh, room temperature was pretty dang easy. So I'm gonna switch gears today and see if just with these two solar panels and our Explorer 1000, um, if we can go ahead and bring it down to uh, freezing level. Um, I put in a small little Tupperware with uh, some room temp water in it. And I am going to keep it on max and uh, move it down to zero degrees and uh, see if this thing can actually pull it off during the day. It's supposed to be about uh, 75 to 80 degrees today and uh, the cooler's in the part sun. All right, it's about four o'clock in the afternoon. Been trying to make ice uh, today. Um, we are doing pretty good on solar, 99%. Got 40 out and uh, 50 in. Sun's still up, so we're getting uh, solar there. Um, the cooler, I've got it set at zero. It's currently at five degrees. And uh, well, the only thing in here is this. And you can see there's a little bit of water left, but it's fairly solid. It's pretty good. Um, up high, in the cooler, it's uh, 37, so uh, down uh, lower, it's gonna be colder, and it obviously is freezing that, so that's a pretty good test. It's about um, 75, uh, 78 degrees outside, and the cooler is partially in the sun there, as you can see. All right, so overnight, um, in freezer mode, max output, we're at three degrees on here, and our Jackery, is at 76% uh, um, with no input. So, uh, and this is a pretty tough test because this is pretty empty. So you're trying to freeze just air in here and keep it cold. If it was full of uh, ice, it would be way easier just to maintain. So pretty good test. One last test I wanna run before our uh, big cross country trip. Um, I have our uh, solar disconnected from the Explorer 1000. Uh, we are at 98% right now. Um, and I wanna see how long we can run our ice chest just in refrigerator mode set to uh, 32 degrees in uh, eco mode. And I've got inside just our uh, 15 water bottles and uh, we'll see how long it runs and if the ice chest can keep up in temperatures that are right about 80 degrees during the day. All right, 48 hours, uh, completely off the grid, no solar, no charging whatsoever on the Jackery. Um, it's our Explorer 1000. We're down to 43% on that. So that's 48 hours worth, that's pretty good. Um, again, we had this set at uh, 30 degrees, I believe, um, and it's on max, so um, it would cycle around. Um, inside the cooler, top of the bottles is 40 degrees, and uh, we're not freezing anything. Um, so this is probably how we're gonna run uh, for our trip um, in you know refrigerator mode at 30 degrees, nothing freezes, um, and uh, it's good refrigerator temperature in here. So good to know we can uh, survive two days without any charging at all on the uh, Explorer 1000. Um, did a pretty good job. So normally we'll, uh, you know, every, every day we'll have it plugged into the truck as we drive and uh, it'll be getting charged 
um, from that. So uh, we'll rebound on, on this, but uh, a couple times we will be staying in one spot for two days at a time and might not be driving. So this was just a test just to uh, see how it did.